Yeah, it was a good game. We could uh, make a good difference in goals, and we are happy to get to the end of the tournament. Yeah, um, we're staying in the same hotel as the Argentinian team, uh, and we see all the messages uh, on the lift of, you know, uh, <laughs> don't wait for success, grab it. It seems a very happy squad. Yeah, I think uh, we are a long time ago from our homes, uh, so if we have a good time between us and we enjoy the moment, uh, I think it's more important that than playing hockey sometimes. So we try to combine both. Sometimes we play better hockey, sometimes uh, we, we put our team first and it works. Yeah, it's very, you, you're a very happy team, very happy squad if you're winning and yeah. scoring lots of goals. Let's have a look uh, at the first goal. Uh, Florencia, happy for a penalty corner move, a beautiful move this, Kim. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, uh, um, well, she just wanted to uh, play a variation and then she's a bit lucky that the defender of uh, New Zealand touches the ball. It's, good, it's a good, Sarah, that they're not having to rely on the captain so much. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's great, isn't it, to have all those different options and, you know, scoring from penalty corners and also open play is fantastic. I mean, that's what any team, that's the luxury for any team. Yeah. I mean, Carla, your, your captain takes... She scores all the goals, she's got a lot of pressure, but it's so important that other people can come and deliver goals. Yeah, of course, I think uh, that's a team uh, when sometimes the forwards score, sometimes the defenders by the penalty corner uh, also score, so that's uh, a very important key we have. Yeah, and when she does score, she scores, doesn't she? She's absolutely brilliant. She, she's just in the right place at the right time. This is a bit of a, a defensive a goalkeeping error. Yeah, but I mean, again, she's in that position and she's ready to pounce and any good goal scorer, you see them in that area and they're not going to miss those those types of goals. But you can just see, you know, she's just ready, she's waiting and takes it first time. You know, she's not stopping the ball, she's not waiting. She's first time touch and it's in, in the back of the goal already. And it looks easy, but it isn't because yeah. the ball's bouncing and especially these opportunities are sometimes... Yeah, they're the trickiest ones, right? Yeah, like, yeah. They're the ones that you accidentally go for and then it skips over your stick, but the hand-eye coordination of Rebecca is outstanding. OK, let's have a look at uh, Argentina's uh, third goal, because this is a little bit controversial, because um, the umpire stops it because she thinks it's back sticks, um, but, but the whistle seems to go before it hits the back of the net. So let's just have a li listen to this. So here we go. So this is the build-up, the attack it. Yeah, so given that the whistle's gone before the ball hits the back of the net, uh, that typically shouldn't be a goal allowed. Um, the goalkeepers obviously thought there was an infringement of the Argentinian player hitting the back of the stick with the backhand shot. Um, that's something she's interpreted and it's her wrong interpretation, but as you can see, she's blown and the noise is before the ball hits the back of the net, in which case that wouldn't have been a goal. Uh, the question is, do you think the goalkeeper just let it in? No, I don't, no think so. <laughs> I don't think so either. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, but uh, your captain, you just tell us what sort of character your captain is, uh, not only on the pitch but off the pitch. Yeah, I think it's the uh, like everyone in the team uh, thinks about team, uh, try to score when we are in field because uh, she's forward, and uh, yeah, I think she tries to work all so together. So. And off the pitch, when you're in the hotel, she, she's a leader, she gets everybody together? Yeah, she's quite relaxed and, uh, yeah. But we, we try to be together most of the time with the team. Uh, of course, we have moments we are in our room and, and relaxing. Uh, but yes, we try to be together. Yeah. OK, well, let's uh, have a look at uh, the, uh, the goal from New Zealand. Sophie Cox uh, getting onto the score sheet. New Zealand were constantly, especially in that final quarter, dangerous, Kim. They, they always looked as if they were scoring when they're coming forward. Yeah, yeah. Especially um, 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 in the end of the uh, zone, when getting into the D, they were a few times very dangerous. And this is a very nice goal. She gets the ball, protects it with her body, just doesn't think and hit it, and it's a beautiful goal. Yeah, we were talking about that in the pre-show, talking about yeah, how to get shots on target. Class. Yeah, in the master class. And we thought at this stage New Zealand might get back into this, didn't we? Yeah, we did. I mean, as you see, there's a lot of pressure coming through. Another fantastic run from Stacey Mickelson and the vision to pick out Sophie Cox in the circle. And yeah, they certainly had some cracking attacks coming forward. OK, um, we, we keep talking about uh, uh, Miss Granato and we, we say she's an exciting talent. Uh, she was having a quietish game for her um, abilities, but this is quite a, a, a fantastic effort, Delfina. Yeah, I think uh, she's a very skillful forward 
and she is used to get inside the area like she did in this goal. Uh, and for us, it's always welcome when the yeah. scores are coming. <laughs> yeah, and I love the way she celebrated a goal. You've got to celebrate it, haven't you, Kim? Yeah, of course. Well, the, the good thing is she reminds me a bit of Soledad Garcia. That she creates her yeah. own space, yeah. Yeah. and then um, uh, yeah, she, she she gets enough time to hit it well. Yeah, uh, and New Zealand came back with one last chance. Uh, a lovely, beautiful move. McLaren uh, instrumental here, Sarah. Yeah, I mean, coming through the inside channel in midfield, but that backhand pass into the circle, the vision to see that's fantastic. And a nice play on the baseline, real composure here to just think, right, I'm going to play it across perfectly to the forehand of Mary, so Mary can just slot that one home. But another great example of how good New Zealand can be in their build-up play. Well, a fantastic victory for you, Duffy. Now, before we let you go, because we don't want you to get too wet and miserable in the, in the <laughs> British rain, uh, the Netherlands next. Kim saying, uh, and we all can see that the Netherlands are a formidable force. Um, how do you feel about that game? I can't say anything different <laughs> because it's here. <laughs> now, it's right, uh, it's true. Um, they have a very strong team. They're very good, I think, with the ball. And we have to be very clever to play against them. Um, last game we won. We, were, we did a good game. Uh, but I think they, high, they have very high points, so we have to be very concentrated. Well, Daphina, thank you very much indeed. Congratulations to you and your team, and we look forward to seeing you later on in the competition.